I am so excited to unbox some plants because I love plant mail. Hello everybody and welcome to a planty unboxing. That's right, we are getting new plants. This is one of the boxes and I have another one that is on its way and it will arrive probably tomorrow or the day after. So I will be inserting that unboxing in this video as well but probably tomorrow or the day after. For today, we have a little box that contains three plants and I haven't ordered plants in a very, very, very long time. I have been a good noodle and I've been trying to, you know, love the plants that I have and take care of the plants that I have, which I feel like I am pretty on top of. I feel like I'm pretty on top of my plant care, which is why I wanted to reward myself with a few new babies, so that's exactly what I did. However, however, I was very conscious and I was choosing plants that weren't expensive, that weren't rare. So most of these plants you will see in this video are pretty common plants, but I just don't have them in my collection and I wanted to add them. Also, I do have a, a couple of weirdos in this mix because I wanted to break up my big leafy plants that is usually my aesthetic. I love them. I love big leafy plants, but like I said, I have a lot of them and when you have a lot of the same type of plant, it can become a little bit redundant. So I wanted to get a few freaks to break it up. Alrighty, should we, should we jump in? I have this big, big box right here and let's just let's just get in it let's just get into it and see what we got so this this box contains three plants oh okay 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 and they are packaged in these lovely little tubes they are so well packaged i am gonna pull them out first Alrighty, so here we have another one. Lots of lots of packing material. And then we have the last one. And this is what the inside of the box looks like. It was very, very well protected in there. I think we should start off. Let's start with this one. Let's start with the smallest. Let's go from smallest to biggest. And this is an exciting one because it is a type of genus that I don't actually own even one plant off. So I am excited. These are so well packaged. Okay, so we have them in these tubes and then they're and then they're further protected in these little paper thingies. So let's go ahead and do it. Oh, I'm so excited. I haven't opened plants in such a long time. This is so freaking exciting. Let me actually get my get my scissors to cut this tape off. Alrighty. Ugh. Okay, are we ready? Are we ready? Oh my god, it is beautiful! It is so beautiful. This is a blue candle cactus and I don't have a single cacti in my collection. So this is really excited. It is packaged so well. Let me just go ahead and get uh, get this tissue off of here. I don't know the the Latin name for this one, so I'll have it in the on somewhere on the screen. But it is commonly known as the blue candle cacti because it is kind of blue. So this is very, very exciting. I am super, super happy. So this is this is what I was talking about. I don't have any cacti, and I think this little weirdo will just add so much interest to my little collection. I love him. I love him so much. Okay, I'll put him here so you can see him. There we go. I love him. All right. That was a great start. 
Okay, moving on. And this one, this one, you can see it's, it's poking out here. Uh, this is a pretty common plant, but I have been obsessed with Hoyas. I, I got the Hoya, the Hoya fever, so I got myself a Hoya uh, pubicalyx. I think this is the pubicalyx splash or whatever, but wow, she is absolutely stunning. She's even prettier than I expected, so I am very excited. But yeah, I caught the Hoya bug, and I am very much obsessed with them. I'm not, I'm trying to first like master just the basic ones, and then move on to the more advanced ones but yeah i just i never used to like hoyas or like they were fine they were a fine plant but lately i've been just i've been just in love with them because they're so easy and when they're they bloom they are absolutely gorgeous Alrighty, oh my god she is beyond she is so beautiful. That splashing is absolutely gorgeous. I love her. I am so excited. Also, she, she looks so healthy, so happy. Very, very exciting. Also, she's quite a bit bigger than I expected. I thought she was going to be a lot smaller from the photos. Oh, this is so fun! Don't we just love a fun little plant unboxing? Alrighty, and now for the last one. This is this one's a bit special because I don't have anything like this. Literally anything. And I think this will add just such a touch of whimsy and character to my to my collection. Oh, she's so cute. She is so cute. Are you guys ready? Like you're gonna you're gonna die. You're gonna run. Ta-da! Look at her! It's a Sephora Prostrata, or commonly known as Little Baby, because it has these little 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 dainty little leaves and it looks like a tree this is gorgeous i was afraid of how this would uh ship because i do know that these leaves are very dainty and very fragile but it shipped amazingly like i i haven't seen a single leaf fall off so that is that is so cool i love <laughs> this is such a weirdo i love him i love him so freaking much and all of these plants were super super cheap the pubicalyx i believe was 12 euros the cacti was eight or seven and then this one was the most expensive one at 16 euros but again super super affordable and this is what she's looking like wow i am i am so in love with this plant she is beautiful alrighty so that's that wraps up the first section of this video or the first box and the moment that the second box arrives we will open that one as well so i am extremely excited but just to give you a little recap we got ourselves a little blue candle cactus we got ourselves a little hoya pubicalyx and we got ourselves a sephora Pastrada or little baby. I love them. I'm gonna go ahead and find them some homes and I will see you in literally a second. Hello, welcome back. It's been three days since I filmed the last portion of this video and my second plenty package just arrived, which I am so excited to dig in and see what we got. I ordered this two weeks ago. It took it took quite a bit to arrive. Don't you know why, but it is here. So that's the important part. And I'm so excited. 
Alrighty, let's dive in here. I have four plants in here and also a fertilizer, which is exciting. Oh, okay, we have some little notes, the receipt, and here they are. Nice, oh, Jesus, oh no. Literally everything just fell out. I wanted to show you how nicely they were packaged, but literally everything fell out. But yeah, they also come in these little tubes. So very, very nicely packaged. I'm just gonna put them aside. And I guess we can start with the fertilizer. So I got myself uh, the, what's it called? GT? Yes, GT foli Foliage Focus. I heard a lot of great things about this fertilizer and it like I randomly found it in this plant shop. I never ordered from this plant shop before so this is my first time ordering from them and I saw that they had some pretty interesting plants and I was like okay let me order some and I like just looked at their little fertilizer section and they had this one and I heard a lot of great things about this fertilizer so I thought to myself, why not order it and try it because I am on the hunt for a really, really good fertilizer. But yeah, that's that. And we still have four more plants. So I guess let's start with the smallest one. I ordered one little baby plant and then the rest should be like regular sized plants. But actually there is one wishless plant and I think I'm gonna leave that one for the for the end. It was a plant that I really wanted for quite a long time, but it was always kind of pricey, but now the prices have really dropped on it. And I decided to get it because, like I said in the first part, I am trying to not spend too much money on plants. Like I wanna I wanna keep it pretty, pretty accessible and you know low stakes i guess i could say okay so this is the first one let's unbox her oh i'm so excited this was also a plant that i wanted for a long time but i don't know i never oh god there was a lot of packs. oh no this is a different plant okay i didn't or no it is it is okay never mind never mind never mind this is the one that i thought it would be <laughs> never mind false alarm but yeah this is a plant I was always eyeing at, but I don't know, never got it. And then I saw it as a baby and it was super, super cheap. So I was like, why not? And it is a cutie little Jose Buono philodendron. She is so freaking cute. I love these plants when I see them in other people's collections. But like I said, I don't know, I just never, never had the inkling to buy one, but this was like super, super cheap. And I was like, yeah, plus I do like me some baby plants. I think they're really, really, really cute. So that is, that is the Jose Buono. Alrighty, let's get this one open. This is the second biggest or the second smallest one. So let's see what's inside of here. I honestly pretty much forgot what I even ordered since it's been such a long time. But I am glad to see that these are very, very well packaged. Whenever I order from somewhere new, I'm always like, oh, I don't know. I don't know how this will go, but thankfully this, um, the shipping took really a long time for some reason. But other than that, so far I am happy. Okay, what could this one be? I am not sure. I am truly not sure, but I guess we will find out in a second. Maybe I could, get rid of this twine first, that would help. Let me grab my scissors. But yeah, I love when people or when shops pl uh, package their plants with care. That is very nice. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, it is a lovely, oh God, let me, let me rip this open. <laughs> it is a lovely little Hoya. It's a Hoya Wayedi uh, variegated. I think it's a tricolor. She's so pretty. So pretty. Again, very accessible, very affordable. 
but yeah, I've just been into into Hoyas lately and I don't have many so I'm kind of starting off with the basic ones and I think this one is really really pretty plus I know that these have really really pretty blooms so yeah I'm excited for her Hoya Wayerii tricolor very very stunning okay so we have two more and i wanna i wanna keep the the wishlist plan for last but i don't remember i don't remember what's what so i guess we will just open whichever i mean both of these plants are very very cute and i'm excited to have both of them in my collection so i'm excited to show you both of them but yeah one is definitely a high, high wish list plant. Alrighty. Can I just pull this? Is, is it gonna, is it gonna... Oh, I'm not gonna pull it. I'm too scared to pull it. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. So this is one that I don't know how to pronounce. So I'm just gonna show it to you. Oh my gosh, she is gorgeous. She is commonly known as the purple sword, I believe. And I think she is related to... To what's it called? to peace lilies let me just open her up she is so beautiful i love these leaves they are so stunning they are very aglionema-esque even though i think this was i think before this was classified as a uh, as a uh, what's it called what do they call a schismatoglottis but then it was reclassified to let me tell you what it is a Apobalis Acumid something. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm sorry, but it is pretty. I will leave the Latin name at the bottom of the screen. It is very, very pretty. And I'm excited to have it. So, yeah. Super excited. Okay, so that leaves my wish list planned for last. And I am so, so happy to have this plant. Again, I've been eyeing this plant for a long long time but whenever i saw it in stores or online it was just always so freaking expensive it was like i mean it wasn't super super expensive but it was over the budget that i was willing to pay for it and i found it for a really really good deal it was around 20 euros which honestly is super fine with me so yeah i'm excited to have her i'm excited to grow her and yeah, let's let's open her up. Let's see. Get all the packaging off. Oh my god, she's beautiful. She is beautiful. It is a philodendron esmeral dense. She is very bushy. Damn, I did not expect her to be this bushy. Um, where are my scissors? But yeah, the, uh, the philodendron Esmeraldense. First of all, I freaking love that name. Like, how powerful do you have to be to call yourself Esmeraldense? Like, just, I, I love that name so much. So it was, it's just the leaf shape. When these mature and get like long and like ribby, I just, oh, I love it. I love it. Right now it's very juvenile. And this is a very, very full pot of this plant. So... What I will probably do, honestly, is separate some of these plants in here and put them on a moss pole because I do want her to be on a moss pole and grow nice and big. But yeah, she's just a small little baby for now. But once these mature and get really big, they are so gorgeous. I'm so happy to have her in my collection. That's about it for this unboxing and plant haul. I do hope you enjoyed both part one and part two of this. I am very excited about my new babies. I will definitely be treating them, see if anybody needs water. I will be trying out my new foliage focus fertilizer, which I am super excited about. And I will definitely keep you updated on how I'm feeling about it and how I'm liking it. That's it for now. I do hope once again that you enjoyed it let me know what your favorite plant from this haul is in the comment section below and if you have any of these plants please do leave me some tips and tricks if you have any or your like care instructions anyway i do hope you have a super amazing fabulous 
brilliant day or night and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye!